the FY 2022 Delinquency Prevention Grant. Mr. Tyler, good morning. Mr. Good morning. So this is a grant, we, have, we applied for this same grant last year. Um, the state only has enough money to award about six uh, applications each year. So last year we did not make the cut, so the funding was available again, so we'd like to apply again. Uh, the delinquency prevention grant uh, is a little bit different than the juvenile justice and Senate grant, which we've been getting for a number of years, and which we'll probably bring back to you next month. The delinquency prevention grant is aimed at those low risk um, youth. Uh, some of the youth that haven't necessarily gone to court, they, maybe they've had an interaction with BJJ or through DFACS. And so this is a program that if it gets funded, would allow us to provide services for the low risk youth um, that are at a higher risk of, of um, committing some, some uh, worse offenses. We're trying to catch them early, just as the name applies, it's a prevent, aim of prevention rather than waiting until they get to the point where uh, you know, they, they've been arrested and, and uh, they're going before judge counsel and having to uh, get charges and be referred to YDC and those type of things. So hopefully this year, um, you know, we, uh, according to CJCC, they feel like we rate pretty high as far as having the, the need for this. So hopefully the, um, you know, it is competitive stand out this year and be able to uh, get some funding which will allow us to uh, start back. We, we've had um, Strengthen the Families, which is a program that's fun. We had that for a couple of years um, early on, I think around 2015 and 16. And it was really successful and the funding went away. So we're hoping that we'll be able to get that back. If you have any questions you might have about the grant or application. So any questions for Mr. Platt? <coughs> so I'm sorry, Mr. So we're pretty confident, though, that years two through five that we can get that fifty thousand. Yes. So I know there's no guarantees. But. Well, that, nothing is ever guaranteed, but that's the way it's structured. Is if they award it this year, anybody else, so they offer six. So the six people, six counties that get funded this year um, will be, you know, as long as the funding stays available, they will fund those six counties for that fifty thousand continuation before they give any, anybody any. So, uh, the only way that we wouldn't get the 50000 is if the money went completely away. Mr. Tyant, this is on um, board. Will this bring support to It would. So, anybody is um, eligible. Um, typically, the, the kids that would be supported with this would, um, it, like Chin's youth, which are, they would kind of come through DFACs. But these are typically youth that haven't even made it to Judge Council or Tennyson School yet. Um, you know, we're trying to address them before they get, you know, but obviously Judge Tennyson had a youth and, uh, and the FFT is still available to Judge Tennyson as well. So either one of these programs. Uh, but this one, they're less likely to go to his court just because the offenses that they're going to have are going to catch them before they have to go, go see him, if that makes sense. Um, yes, ma'am. I, I believe so. Any other questions? Thank you, Mr. Tyler. <clears throat> Agenda item 6D.